As a doctor, we frequently encounter patients who have different needs. And this is one patient who was intellectually disabled and had a very loving and caring family and I had to perform a cataract surgery on this patient because of this dense cataract. So the patient presented with this kind of cataract in one eye and the other eye had been operated earlier by me and patient was seeing well with that eye. Patient was so much intellectually challenged that patient couldn't communicate properly and he had just simply ability to recite few words repeatedly. Jaise ki namaste doctor, namaste doctor. So this patient was planned for surgery under anesthesia but because the patient had these issues related to systemic fitness also so the patient was planned for surgery under deep sedation. As a conjunct we used topical anesthesia also along with intracameral anesthesia as we do in a routine cataract surgery. So this patient was not under general anesthesia so I had to hold the eye to stabilize it and patient was not moving the eye or head and otherwise cooperating well under this kind of sedation. So instilling intracameral ignocane so as the patient does not have any pain sensation and because this is a white cataract we have to stain the capsule so that it can be visualized during capsulorexis. So once the capsule has been properly stained we form the anterior chamber and this is the blue colored capsule which has been stained by the dye and is appearing blue now otherwise it is colorless and transparent. So capsulorexis has been performed and it's an adequate size rexis. Going ahead with the phacoemulsification process and this patient had a formed nucleus. So proper emulsification with nuclear disassembly is needed in such situations. The surgery was otherwise unremarkable. However, it is about managing these patients who have special needs but they also have illnesses which require management in a routine way. So these patients are usually difficult to handle because generally physician and anesthetists are little reluctant because of multiple systemic issues which are commonly seen in these patients like cardiac issues and inability to have good pulmonary functions. So in these situations it is always better to use minimal of anesthesia or rather deep sedation can be used which can be combined with local anesthesia or topical anesthesia and these surgeries can be done safely without any compromise. So here we will see that how quickly the patient recovers after the surgery has been done and right now we can see that the nucleus and the cataract has been removed and we are now proceeding for implantation of a foldable monofocal IOL. So patient during the deep sedation had some movements of the head so that is why it was difficult to maintain the centration of the microscope but otherwise it was not a very difficult surgery. So once the IOL has been implanted, the remaining viscoelastic gel has to be flushed using irrigation aspiration cannula. It's very important to finish these surgeries in perfect order because in a normal adult you can take the patient again the next day to the OT if it is needed so. But for these kind of patients, it's a very difficult task because the anesthetist has to be arranged again because these patients will not cooperate without proper anesthesia. So here you can see I had to pull the eyeball down so that to reach into the incision point so as to form the anterior chamber. This is the patient who has been seen just after the surgery 
and has recovered well from his deep sedation and this is the loving brother and mother of the patient who are very happy with the outcome and the short period of sedation which made surgery nearly like a topical anesthesia thank you